morning, everyone. My name is Andy Starzak. I'm the Deputy Chief of Police for Brownstown Township and Secretary for the Woodhaven Brownstown Rotary Club. It's my absolute honor to introduce PJ and Brian Ramsey. They're brothers from Grosseal, and they've dedicated their entire lives to service. Brian Ramsey is a detective with the Brownstown Police Department, and he's assigned to the Detective Bureau to investigate some of the most horrendous crimes and bring those people to justice. PJ enlisted in the United States Navy and tested and selected for the most elite Naval Special Warfare team known. Through his experiences, he has personal knowledge and understanding of how PTSD, trauma, uh, traumatic brain injury, and blast wave injury can affect those who serve. These two guys are my heroes. And when they asked for help with the Veterans Mental Health Program to help organize public safety efforts to swim six miles down the Detroit River, saying no is not an option. So in addition to helping to secure those resources, I reached out to Brownstown Supervisor and Assistant District Governor, um, excuse me, Dean of Assistant Governors, Ed Smith, and my club president, Barb Smith, to ask what Rotary can do to help. And they definitely stepped up. Please join me in thanking and welcoming, welcoming Brian and PJ. Thank you, Andy. Can we start with playing the video first? Suicide is a sticky word. It's not comfortable for people to say. But I do believe the more we talk about it openly, the more we can kind of shut off this negative connotation that's associated with it. And by maybe talking more openly than others will share, share in their hardship. It's not just an issue and challenge in the veteran community, it's, it's around the globe. I mean, law enforcement, civilians, everyone. These guys are dying from suicide because of the injuries that are invisible. So when I learned about Step Up Foundation and what Sarah's doing, it was really easy for me to stand behind that. I've been a trainer my whole life. I believe if you are a good trainer, you have the unique ability of helping others to find the best within themselves. We want to see people embrace hard challenges. And hard meaning when you're standing at the starting line, are you going to be able to finish it? And so as I started to think about the foundation and people who might be struggling or maybe even lack a sense of purpose or direction, how can I use my skills for the good? And it came to be a Live Big event. What light, lighthouses are, you know, they, they're out there to essentially guide a vessel back home, right? And to me, that's what it is for me, finding your way home. A lot of the swimmers that came out and did this, this was their first big open water swim. And these guys went out there and swam it and pushed through that discomfort, pushed through the weather, the challenges out there, and, and pushing their own limits themselves. That's the highlight for me. What, what a great event. Brought the whole community together. I mean, there was, there was no losers here, right? I mean, the, the veterans, the, the, the cause is amazing. The, the sense of community that we have from this. I mean, the, the, the foundation, it's just, there, there's no losers here. What, what, a, what a great event. I didn't realize there's so much support out there. People just want, want to support from family, friends, people I don't even know. Seeing what it brought to the community and the awareness it brought, see how that community rallies around what this is, just it filled my soul up. It makes me realize there is help out there, you know, and that's how you do it, you find community. 
anybody can struggle. Everybody might struggle at some point and have dark times, but I think you always have to remember who is your keeper of the light. Let's all take a deep breath and have a short discussion on what some consider a, sti a sticky subject, suicide, and how the Step Up Foundation was born and our mission in fighting the new current epidemic on suicide. My name is PJ. I'm a retired, na uh, retired combat veteran. I spent 15 years active duty Navy with most of that time as a Navy SEAL and currently the event director for the Step Up Foundation. The Step Up Foundation strives to change the narrative concerning the number of veteran suicides by dramatically expanding awareness regarding the effects of blast wave injury, mild traumatic brain injury, and post-traumatic stress. Through physical challenges and speaking engagements, the Step Up Foundation will raise funds to increase support of programs dedicated to the research and treatment of these injuries while honoring the sacrifice made by our veterans. On October 29th, 2018, Navy SEAL Chad Wilkinson took his life. While approaching his 21st year active duty and experiencing multiple combat deployments, his body and his mind had taken too much. Following his death, his family donated his brain to science and would later learn he suffered from interface astroglial scarring. This scarring is similar to the more readily heard CTE, or punch drunk. However, Interface scarring is specific to our veterans in that it doesn't necessarily occur with physical contact or trauma, but from blast waves we are exposed to in both training and combat. An inspiring mountaineer and following his death, the world took to Chad's workout. 1,000 box step ups with a 45 pound pack to train for such climbing expeditions, which is now known as the Chad 1000X, the official Veterans Day Hero workout. This workout has grown to be a testament of the struggles our military face with PTS, multiple mild traumatic brain injuries, and blast wave injuries. As Chad often said, uncomfortable can't last forever. This annual Veterans Day workout now serves as a trademark platform for fellow Americans to honor our veterans and our invisible wounds. We stand beside them in support, we honor their struggle, and will fight for their comfort as they have for us. Thus, the Step Up Foundation was born. The woman behind the movement, Chad's wife and widow, our founder, Sarah Wilkinson, was always familiar with the military life as she grew up the youngest to a father in the Marine Corps. While her experience is, in with, was, is within the Navy SEAL community, she fully understands that many of our veterans are struggling regardless of branch, rank, or time in service. Sarah is dedicated to using her voice and her story to change the narrative and the number to, to this suicide epidemic. I first met Sarah at a 5K swim fundraiser in Boston in 2022 for another organization. After speaking with her and living with my own invisible injuries from war, PTS, multiple mild traumatic brain injuries, suicidal ideation, and attempt, loss of purpose, and looking for a new mission, the Find Your Way Home Swim was born. The Find Your Way Home Swim is a fundraiser that supports the Step Up Foundation, first held in 2023 and put together in 70 days with the support of Andy, Brian, Brownstown Police and Fire, and several other local and federal agencies. 33 participants successfully swam a 10-kilometer swim from Grosdeal Yacht Club to the Detroit River Lighthouse, raising over $100,000 for the foundation in support of suicide awareness and mental health. $65,000 plus dollars have gone to brain treatment programs to date. This swim marking the first of what we hope to be several more Live Big events. I'd like to share what one of the safety kayakers had to say about last year's swim. This weekend I was honored to kayak alongside swimmers in the Find Your Way Home swim. Our Great Lake Erie had a mind of her own that day. Waves were rolling and the wind was blowing. 
Each mile seemed longer than the last. You can feel unsure how to help someone going through such a mental and physical challenge. I learned a few lessons about supporting swimmers in big open water, and I think these lessons can be applied to supporting our veterans and service members we meet throughout our lives. One, keep your eyes out. Watch out for signs of fatigue and stress. Two, let them know you will always be close by and ready to assist. Three, try to stay true to the course and help, help, help them get their bearings as needed. Four, offer encouragement. Five, even in rough water, look for the light and keep moving forward. Six, celebrate together, share the joy, and live big. This year's swim will be held September 14th at Grozio Yacht Club. I'm happy to announce swimmer registration is open starting today, May 4th, as well as donations being accepted through our website, www.stepupswim.org, or on the Step Up platform itself. <clears throat> we also have flyers over there at the table that you can scan the QR code on there for donations. With you, we make a difference. Please stop and see me if you have any questions on how to participate volunteer options, sponsorship level options. Thank you again for your time. It's not just a mission, it's a movement. May the lighthouse serve as a beacon of guidance, strength, and stability to those navigating their darkest waters. Thank you. <laughs>